Hey guys, so you know we have the beach house project and one of the things down there whenever you get into those areas is the water quality is an issue. So I spent the past two months researching under, under sink water filters that I could install myself that would be the best filtration system possible. And I'm gonna show that to you today. It installs in five minutes, it lasts six months. You can get a reef, the, the um, replacement filters are pretty cheap. The company is fantastic, all USA made. The company was started by a gentleman uh, who actually was giving these away free after the Flint, uh, Michigan crisis with all the lead in the water. He then started the company, Mark Cuban. He went on Shark Tank. Mark Cuban invested with this guy. And after five years, they have a fantastic product. It's reasonably priced, gets out all your contaminants and unhealthy crap out of your water, installs in five to 10 minutes, no plumbers, uh, the filters each last six months and the replacement cartridges are not that expensive and you will custom make it will custom make each one of these filters based on what pollutants are in your zip code and I'm going to show you that here in a second so hold on. If you've ever thought about putting a filtration system in your home this one's going to win you over I guarantee it but if you've never thought about putting one in your home you may want to think about it and I'm going to show you why because I'm going to scare the heck out of you. This filter right here, uh, I'm going to show you me installing it in five minutes <laughs> and it'll filter for six months under your sink. Every ounce of water that comes out of the cold tap water will be filtered and all your major contaminants, all of them, will be removed. So here's how I'm going to scare you first of all. This company custom fabricates their filters for your zip code and your water your water system. Let me say that again. <laughs> Instead of going to Walmart and buying a filter that's the same filter for everywhere in the US, this company custom makes the filters for your zip code. Because something in downtown Chicago where they have a lot of old pipes and a lot of lead is gonna be a lot different than out in Oklahoma where you may have natural water contaminants from nature versus city pipes. So they're gonna custom make this filter to your area. So here's how I'm gonna scare you. In the link below, in the description below, there's one link. This video will be up on a web page, and all this information you can see right there. I am gonna put a link to a company that has millions of data points It will show you your contaminants. So I was buying one for the beach house. Let me put up what my beach house has. These are the contaminants that, whether the EPA regulates them or not, these are the contaminants that are in that zip code. Well, I thought that was, you know, that was, yeah, I'm a little, concerned me a little bit. But then I put in my home zip code, which is more rural, which is more in the, towards the city, and look at the contaminants in my city water. Now, a lot of these contaminants are not regulated or controlled by the EPA. The EPA will test your water system and says your water is within the legal, it, within the legal requirements for drinking water. Well, that doesn't mean it's clean. You want a filter that will take everything out of it and clean all those impurities and chemicals out of it. And a lot of these are cancer-causing chemicals, and the EPA does not regulate them. So, especially if you have grandkids, this is a great present for them because, again, it's a five to ten minute installation. I'm going to show you. I have a little teeny sink at the house and it fits under the sink. There's just a simple hose that you stick into it and you remove your cold water, hook up your cold water, and now you have clean water in the filter last six months. So the first thing you're going to do after you watch this video is you're going to go click in the description, go over to the website, and I want you to click, you'll see a link that says, see your zip code water. Click on it, another website, put in your zip code and roll down and you'll see the contaminants in your zip code. Now, when I ordered my filter system, I actually ordered it with a extra filter, which I think is a smart idea. So I'll put a link to the filter systems on that page. And what you'll get is you'll get the filter comes with, a, you'll get the filter system, which is a filter in it, and I ordered an extra filter. So I've got a full year of filtration um, for my drinking water. Now, a little bit later in the video, I'm gonna tell you why you never drink or use your hot water from your water heater for either drinking or for cooking. I'll tell you that in a minute too. Oh, okay, so today I'm gonna install this filter. 
under the sink. So the first thing you have to do is turn your hat backwards. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have a real small sink under here. It's really small. And that's one of the nice things about this filter is it'll fit in here. We have a, I have no space under this cabinet. It's just tiny and I have a disposal under here. So anyways, let's get going and let's install this thing. I want to turn on my cold water. And then I want to make sure I'm shutting the cold water off. And now I'm just going to unhook this line. Oh, what a tiny little cabinet. All I'm going to do is I am just going to push this down in here until it stops. Boom, bottoms out and it's tight. Again, if you ever need to take this off, you push this down and pull out. So now I have the thread, this piece that actually goes back on to, you see it has a little plastic thing, little plastic thingy like that. And then that goes right back to where you disconnected it, to the water supply. Back in there, I'm not even, I don't think I'm gonna mount it. Push that down all the way and then start tightening that bolt. Okay, so now you can see how easy that was. So basically all I did was I disconnected my water supply. I put it into one side of the filter. The other side of the filter then goes back up to your faucet. You let it run for three minutes and you're done. Now, if you wanna mount this to the side somewhere up in your sink, you can. It comes with a filter wrench. So when it comes time to change that filter, you can just unchange it. But let me tell you what, it truly is, it took me longer to <laughs> It took me longer to clean out all the crap under my sink than it did to install this. And that's what a lot of people say. The installation is that simple. Uh, now, water pressure, that's an important note. Let me show you. Um, a, lot of, a lot of filtration systems can actually reduce your water pressure and pressure. This one does not. So let me show you. So this is cold water, which is filtered. It's going right through the filter. Hot water almost identical. Same flow, same gallons per hour. And that's one of the beautiful things about this is that it doesn't restrict it. You let it run for three minutes. And sometimes you can get a little bit of bubbly water in it, but it's just crystal clear now too. I will tell you, now I will tell you that we still use activated charcoal filter pitchers. And so what I do is, is I run the water through this filter system. It goes into this one. And so now I have absolutely perfect drinking water for my filters, but everything else for cooking and everything else still runs through that main filter system. So I'm double filtering it and it's just absolutely amazing. I proved two things. Fat guys can fit under a little sink and the installation was easy, but here's an important note, <laughs> very important ordering note. If you're ordering it for your home, no problem. Just order it place your order and uh, it'll come in and they'll formulate it for your zip code. But what if you're gonna order it for somewhere else? So I'm sitting here at the house and I'm ordering for the beach house. So when I did that, after I placed my order and I got my confirmation email, I sent them an email saying, will you please formulate this order for this zip code? And what they'll do is they'll go in their system and they'll change it and they'll formulate it for the zip code that you give them. So right after you order, send them an email and they'll change it. They're very responsive by, via email, by the way. Excellent customer service. Same thing, if you're gonna order this, let's say you have grandkids, you wanna give them a gift, you can send this to them and after you place your order, then you can go ahead and say, please make sure it's formulated for this zip code. Just in case they, they, the system may use your home zip code instead of the one that you're shipping to. For almost 20 years, the EPA has not updated and kept up with pollutants and what they regulate. They allow lots of stuff to go in to be considered safe drinking water. This system is specially formulated to remove all that crazy stuff. I actually, again, if I'm gonna just be drinking it straight, you can drink straight out of it, but I also run it through the activated charcoal filter in the pitchers. So if you have one of those, you can also get one of these. Now, real quick, let me talk about, I mentioned earlier about not drinking hot water or water out of your water heater. And let me explain why. To kill bacteria, you have to get up to boiling water. And your water has to boil, what is it, five to 10 minutes. 
it's the same thing. If you're going to drink water you don't know about, you boil it and you boil it for 10 minutes. Well, the water inside your water heater sits there and it's about 120 degrees, roughly 110, 120 degrees. It's like a, it's like a sewage sludge in there. <laughs> I'm just warning you. If you've ever flushed out a water heater, and I did this last month, I flushed out my water heater, you should see all the crap that came out of that water heater. Well, it never gets hot enough to kill bacteria, and it sits there, and all that water just sits there, and all those minerals, all those electrodes, and everything is in there. It's actually pretty nasty. My wife and I get into this battle all the time because sometimes she'll just go like warm tap water, or she'll hit the hot tap water to fill the dog's dish, and I'm like, what are you doing? She said, it's the same pipe. And no, it's not. <laughs> Fresh water coming in versus going into a septic pool of the hot water heater and then drinking it. Don't use water, hot water from your water heater to that you're going to eat, unless you're going to boil it and cook it and whatever. Always use your cold water from your cold water faucet and always run it through this filter system. It's fantastic. Uh, hit that subscribe button, get one of these things. I think they're fantastic, especially if you live in a trouble area and find out what's in your water. Doc.